Welcome to a video that's entitled Customizing SSMS. And SSMS stands for SQL Server Management Studio. Now I've just opened the SQL Server Management Studio and it wants me to connect to the database and I will. And what I want to show you here in this video is how to customize this environment, how you may accidentally customize it, and then how to get it back to where it was when you started in case you mess it up. This interface changes based on the context of whatever it is that you're doing at the time. So notice when I open this up and I'm just kind of looking around in here at databases, it looks like this. Now notice I can grab this, make it wider, and then I can use this little push pin up here, the auto hide. And if I click that, that went away, but notice the tab's still there. Now if I mouse over that, that will pop back out. Then when I mouse away, it goes away again, okay? Now I can always come back out here and pin that back up, and it's the last width that I had it on, and I can pull it over. And you say, well, okay, that's really cool, Mark. What's that worth to me? Well, what it's worth is when I start to write queries, and notice right here, if I click on New Query, and I want to write a query against a database, notice that it changes the look of the interface quite a bit. It brings up the Properties window over here, and I have this place in the middle here to write queries. Now, if I make this thing wide, it's eating into how much real estate in the screen that I have to write queries, right? So if I get ready to write a query, like select asterisk from person dot address, okay? Well, you can see that I could very easily start to eat up my screen real estate here to where I can't see my query. Well, if I unpin this window, I have more room. And if I unpin this window, I have my entire screen real estate for writing my queries. Now that's pretty cool. But when I want it back, I'll have to come back out here and pin it back up and I can move it back. Now that's pretty easy, right? You can see how to work with this and move these things all around. But there are also other windows that I can put out here and this is where people tend to get lost. If you go to view, you will see, for example, the solution explorer window. What if I wanna see that? Well, I can click this and turn it on and notice it popped up on the top and now my properties are hard to see. Well, I can move these up and down, or I can do what's called floating that window. I can grab it by the title bar. I'm just left clicking and holding down and drag this, and I can move it out here. And if I get it to a white space, now it's just floating. Well, that's kind of cool that I can float it, but notice it's going to get in the way of my queries. So what I can do is bring it over here, right? And notice these little icons. If I move the mouse over that, different areas are highlighting and I can put it down under here. Well, I don't like that. So I can pull it back off and I can put it on this side. And now that's side by side, that's even worse. So I'll drag it back out here. I'm gonna come over here and this time, I'm going to drag it to this middle one. And this is kind of cool. Notice what it does. It gives me a tab down here. So I have the full area here for my properties or I can click this and see my Solution Explorer. Whether or not you're gonna use the Solution Explorer is up to you, but this is how you can start to see these windows. But after a while, I can get this all fouled up. I bring my properties up. I could close it out and I don't have my properties anymore. Where did they go? They do have a little help for you up here. Notice Properties Window F4. I can click this and bring it back up. Here's the Solution Explorer. Here's the Toolbox. I can turn this on. Notice it brought a tab over here. There aren't really any tools, I'll close that one. But what happens when I get this really all fouled up and I'm not sure exactly what's what anymore, okay? Very easy to correct. Okay, I'm gonna put my properties down here at the bottom. All I have to do is go to Window and come down here and choose Reset Window Layout. Do I wanna restore it? Yes. And so that's gonna take it back to the way it was when I first got here. So that's kind of the safety button, if you will. One other thing I wanna show you, naturally, all of these toolbars here, we can move around, right? We can pull them up, we can pull them down, we can do all kinds of things, just like you can do in any Windows interface like this. But I also wanna show you that if I go to Tools, Options, you're gonna notice right away that, I'm gonna close this back out for just a second here. My text is probably larger than yours. And I did that so that you could see it on the screen, but you may wanna do this just for eye fatigue. So go to Tools, Options, and you'll notice Fonts and Colors. I've just changed mine, I left it at Consolas, but I put it on size 20. And then notice, I can change colors, I can change background, foreground colors on every part of it out there. If I want to, I can make a full-time career out of setting fonts here. 
Then you'll notice if I go to text editor and I go to general, or if I go to all languages, I can set things. If I go to all languages right here is word wrap. Okay, so if I set word wrap on this and come out here and extend this to where it eats into the query, notice it automatically wraps the query for me. Okay, just like word wrap in Word or something. Some people like that word wrap thing, others it drives them nuts. You'll just have to decide whether you like it or not. Notice that was tools, options, all languages, and you can take word wrap off. Notice I can also turn line numbers on in the same place. And now I can automatically see line numbers as I add more lines to my code. Okay, so that's just a few things. Go out there and play, but always remember you can get back by doing window, reset window layout, and it will restore the window layout. It won't do undo all the font changes, but that's a quick way to start customizing this interface to make it look and feel the way you want it to.